Hello, this is Prophet Six. Today, Prophet Six, the family prophet to the angel of the church of the Laodiceans. That's who I am, okay? Just so you know who I am, where I'm coming from. Now, today what we're gonna do is discuss concerning uh, the state of Israel, the establishment of the state of Israel as it relates to the establishment of God's kingdom. Now, when I say kingdom, I mean pre-millennial kingdom. Without further ado, we're gonna begin with prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for this day. We invite your Holy Spirit. We invite your spirit to come in the midst of this study and bring light conviction of sin, judgment, and righteousness as it relates to this topic about the pre-millennial kingdom and the state of Israel, the current state of Israel. And these things we ask in the matchless, powerful, and omnipotent name of Yahshua, Hamashiach. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, <clears throat> let's get right down to it, okay? I just uploaded a beautiful study on Daniel chapter 2. And this is a good study that I'm giving today that dovetails right in to that study. What about the nation of Israel as it relates to the nation of Israel as it was established in 1948? Was it of God? Was it biblical prophecy being fulfilled? What what are we to make of it as 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 Jews, so-called Jews and Christians? What what are we to make of that prophetically, biblically? Well, <clears throat> I want to tell you something. I am much disturbed by um, how I see uh, cr so-called Christians fawning after the so-called Jews that are in uh, Israel. And and when I say so-called Jews, I mean suspicious Jews. They're very suspicious. You know why? I don't really think they're the people of God at all. I don't think they are the people that, based on the Bible, that God said, I'm going to bless those that bless you and curse those that curse you. These people that are, are profiled in uh, the state of Israel today, since 1948, they are so suspicious. And, and, and I want to tell you something. I cannot find a modicum of evidence in the Bible to prove that these are the people that fulfill the reestablishment of the nation of, 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 of the Hebrew people, of the 12 tribes of Israel. I want to tell you one reason right off the bat why. Right off the bat, where are the 12 tribes? Where are they? God said whenever he brought his people back, he was going to bring back all 12 tribes. And he even showed us in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38 through 40, how they was going to be situated. How, how they were going to occupy that land. Not occupy, let me tell you. How they were going to possess the land. I like that. Oh, God. Because, see, that's exactly what the Bible says. Not occupy, but possess the land. Okay? So, you know, are these people that's down in Israel that the media and the, the worldly governments that are represented by the, the image in Daniel chapter 2? Uh, how could they be God's real people? How could they be the descendants of Abraham? Because the Bible says, if ye be Christ, oh boy, hallelujah. If ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So my thing is, if you don't love Jesus, how can you be God's real people? If you don't love Jesus, who is God, how can you love, how can you be God's true people? I, you know, and I, you know, I see all these Christian organizations, massive ones, they kowtow to these people that don't meet any of the biblical requirements for even being in the faith of God. Did you know that you cannot, it's illegal 
to go to the state of Israel and do any evangelism in the name of Jesus. Did you know that? Did you know that? Well, there are a lot of people that do know it. You just didn't know that. How are these God's people? You can't preach in the name of Jesus. You can't baptize in the name of Jesus. But this is called God's true people. These are the people that 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 evangelicals of today say, if you don't bless these people, you're going to be cursed. And if you curse these people, God is going to curse you. I don't understand that. If you be Christ, see, what those people down there and many evangelicals don't understand is this. They don't understand that Christ is the key, not Abraham. Oh boy, that oh that's a preacher there. That's worth that's something to shout on, ain't it? Oh, I'm gonna shout for you. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Che, bye bye. Oh God, thank you. Now that's something to shout about. See, Abraham is not the key to anything. Jesus is the key to everything. Oh Lord, have mercy. The only reason why. Abraham is mentioned in Hebrews chapter 11 as the father of the faithful is because of the faith of G the faith he had in Jesus. Yahshua. You see? Jehovah. That's the only reason why he's called the father of the faithful. Because he loved God. He loved Jesus. This is the only reason why Abraham is the father of the faithful. It's not because of his DNA. And another thing that I want to look at. Now, the Bible says in the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of mountains. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And all nations shall flow into it. I'm going to tell you something. I love these prophecies. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You know, I had a brother who used to be a real good friend of mine. Loved him like a brother. I still love him, but not like a brother. But anyway, <laughs> you always, he, you know what he used to tell me? You always talking about those Old Testament prophets. Oh, you want me to talk about New Testament prophecy? Okay, let's go to the Bible. We already prayed, so now let's go into the word. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, this gets me fired up. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to Revelation chapter seven. We, you know, this thing is not this thing is not limited only to the Old Testament. Oh no, oh no. Let's go to Revelation uh, chapter seven and let's read some scripture here. Come on, those people that's in Israel right now who hate God. They're atheists. Let me tell you something. If you don't love Jesus, guess what you are? An atheist. You are an atheist if you don't love Jesus. Yahshua. Jehovah. Jehovah is Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, I know that messing people up right there. Oh, but I meant to mess you up. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, boy. This gets me so excited. Now, look at this. <laughs> I can't even find the book of Revelation right now. I'm so happy. Look at this. I like, oh, oh, Lord, have mercy. Look look at this. Revelation is so much stuff in this Bible. I mean, you think, I mean, Bibles nowadays, they, the last book in the Bible is not Revelation. It's all some other stuff, commentary and all the other kind of stuff that people just put in the Bible. But uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go to Revelation chapter uh, 7. And I can't find chapter seven. There's so much stuff in here. Look at it. It says, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That they should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor any tree. And I saw another angel ascending, ascending from the east, having the seal of the ever living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea and saying, hurt not the earth or the sea. Don't hurt them. 
So the four angels are supposed to do some hurting. Hurt not the earth nor the sea till we have sealed the servants of our God in their forehead. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord. Seal the, oh, the servants of our God in their forehead. Ooh, wee. Now, this is deep. What do you think they're going to be sealed in their forehead with? Oh, the name of the Father. The name of the Father. The, and truth. Okay? Look at this. Seal the, the 144,000 of all, all the tribes of the children of Israel. Can you go to Israel today? Since they set it up the state of Israel in 1948, can you go down there and find the 12 tribes? No, you cannot. They don't even they don't even believe in the 12 tribes anymore. Ooh. How could they be God's real people? And look what it says here. And I and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there was sealed 144,000 of all, not some. All the tribe, not just the tribe of Judah and Benjamin, not just this. No, all. And look at this. This is talking about a genealogy of faith. God can still trace the faithful people that are descendants of Abraham. See, it's a it's a genealogy of faith. That's what it's really all hinged on. What faith? Faith in Jesus. Faith in the Messiah. See, the Jews that's down there in the Middle East right now, I'm not talking about the Messianic Jews, but the Jews that's right down there in Israel right now, guess what? They still waiting for the Messiah. And he came 2,000 years ago. Wow. And look at this. The Messianic Jews, they better be careful. You know why? Because they think it's really based on DNA. They don't know that it's a, it's a genealogy of faith. The DNA of faith for children that come from Abraham. It's real. You know what I'm saying? Because I want, I want to prove it to you. You Do you realize how many times the, the Hebrews intermarried with heathen? They intermarried with every heathen on earth that didn't believe in God. They bowed down to their idols. Look at King Solomon. King Solomon imported idolatry to Israel. That's what King Solomon did. Why do you think he had 700 wives and uh, uh, 700 wives and a thousand concubines? These women were idolaters. And not only did he export their the, the women to Israel, he built temples for their gods right in the kingdom of God. Now, with that bit of that factoid, with that factoid, how can you profile God's people as only being European? Come on, people. Look where Abraham was from. He was from the land of Ur. Okay, that's the same place where Babylon is. Come on, y'all. How can you how can you profile God's people as only being Europeans? And watch this: the bulk of the people that are in um, the state of Israel right now, you know where they come from? Europe, Russia, Poland, Czechoslovakia. You notice that none of them come from China? Hello. Japan. Hello. South America. Anytime you see those people, anytime you see any of those pictures where they at the Wailing Wall and they doing like this, banging their head up against the wall. Do you, 